Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, we are back for another Halloween decoration project using Dollar Tree goodies. And for this tutorial, we're going to be using some pipe cleaners and they actually call them tinsel stems. But, you know, I don't know. It's a dollar. That's all I care. <laughs> and then you're going to get, I purchased six rolls of these. I bought two orange, two purples, and two black and these are the deco mesh trims and you're gonna need a wire reform and your oh and I also got this ribbon which is like three yards and you're, you're gonna need your scissors so let's get started I've already started to put some stuff down as you can see because I wanted to get a feel for this um, and according to the directions that comes included in this deco mesh stuff um, it tells you to put the the stems or the pipe cleaner at the 24 points around the reform which are these little T crosses one one two three four all the way around which is six points one two three four five six so you're gonna have a lot of pipe fan the pipe fitters all, of, all the way around. I am just going to do a little bit different. I'm just going to fill it in um, and see, get an idea of how I want this done. I've gone ahead and started to cut some of these. As you can see, I've already laid these down. So I've sandwiched the orange, the black, and the purple. And I'm cutting it at about, although they're saying to do it a little bit bigger, um, I just did a little bit smaller. So this is probably about five inches and what I'm doing is I sandwich it with the black so that I can cut them all up and just keep doing it that way instead of you know I'll grab one of these and then just keep cutting until you have all your your entire roll cut And some of these come out a little wonky, but that's okay. Again, sandwich them up. And once you have your mesh completely cut, go ahead and come back here and meet me. Okay? So we'll be back. Okay, I have a crazy mess of all this crazy stuff all over my desk, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, roll one orange, one purple, and then just kind of do like a crisscross applesauce, and one black, just like that, and then crisp that one crisscross applesauce, twist it if you want to give it more character. Let's move all this crazy roly polies and stuff out of my way, Brianna. You're going to be my little assistant. When I ask you for purple, when I ask you for the colors, you're going to swap them over here, okay? All right, so let's get crack a lacking. Looks like I need another pipe filler. So I'm just going to pull, pull pipe fillers in. And just keep putting them in as I'm going along. I don't think I'm going to use those points. Ding, ding, they're helpful. All right, so we're going to put one right there. So I'm, I have them all three sandwiched in like that, twisted. And I've twisted my pipe filler or pipe cleaner. Cleaner. God, I can't get that word right. We're going to twist it once and twice and three times is the charm push it over Brianna hand it over to me baby get me a purple check oh it's already twisted see that makes it even better twist it give me an orange give me an O black one and look and they and they, they just curl up just so easy and there we go and that's twisties 
looks like so. And let's get a pipe cleaner. And I put one on top of the other here. So I'm going to put another one on the bottom. I'm going to twist it. And I want to put that right smack in there. twist. And then, so this one's going this way, the first one right there, and I want to bring this one over and just kind of overlap it just like that. I'm not cutting these off because I have a ribbon that I'm going to put in there as well. So, let's see, there's one, right? Here's the first one. These things get tied up, tangled. Okay, so here's the first one right here. And then I put the, the second one in right there. Actually, I put it in the second row, so I gotta remove that one. And then I kind of twist it in like that. So here's this one. And let's move this baby because I put it in the wrong, the wrong row. It's in the wrong row. Ah. How dare I put it in the wrong road, Nani? Tis, tis, says the nonsters. Tis, tis. Okay, so we got to put it in the second, sec, the first, the two middle ones. So not the first one. We're going to start putting on the, the second and the third. Does that make sense? I hope so. We'll do a couple. We'll do a couple together. Just so that it makes sense to you. And it makes sense to me, and it makes sense to Nani's. The Nonsters. The Nonsters putting me to work because she wants her Halloween decor. All right, so now we're going to push that, and it's going to go right smack like that. So, so, see? All right. Hand it to me. There we go. Let's put that. Let's put the pipe. Cleaner in. So again, second row and twist it at least twice. Third row. I don't know why they said put it in those points because it's going to look kind of bare. I don't know. I don't know because, right, orange. Blackaroo. So we're going to go with orange, the black, the purple, and the black crosses them. And then we're just going to twist them. And we're going to go to that pipe cleaner. This is a little what do you call it? Messy job. Next. Give me an orange. Give me a black. All right. And what do we got? We got. We got some stuff to make a reef, right? All right. Twist it. And let's go to that second row pipe cleaner. This stuff gets tangled up really bad. Really bad. Okay. So there we go. That one will go down here. And then this one's going to go right smack on diagonal form. All right. Let's add more pipe cleaners on the second row and we're just going to keep going around I'm going to do one complete block and a block and I mean by a block I mean the space between the little bars I guess they call them the T-bars 
So we're going to do one complete block together and then I will go off camera and do the rest. So the second, because I want to give you guys an idea how many you're going to be needing. All right, Brianna, hand it to me. Black first, purple, and orange. Can you tell she wants some Halloween stuff? She's here helping me. How badly do you want Halloween stuff, Brianna? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we twist. Twist, twist, and then we're going to go again, set it there, twist, twist, sock it to me, Nani, sock it to me. Let me get some coffee, guys. You already keep, oh, sorry, my bad. They look like little roly poly oldies. Roly poly oldies. Is that how you say it, Nani? Roly poly. Roly poly oli. Okay. All right. And I'm not, as you can see, I'm not just trying, I'm not going for perfection, guys. Like, no, oh my God, it has to be perfectly rolled up. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't have time for that. Okay, here we go, because this stuff gets tangled. So who has time for that? All right. See, I went around and put those little pieces that they said. I want to move this one, the, sec the third row, and then the, the first, the second row on top of that in the angle. Like that. So far we have put together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So far is eight, and I think we're probably going to be doing, it looks like ten. Okay, two more pipe cleaners. Looks like ten per little slot. So that looks like you might need um, there is how many slots? I'll tell you in a second because we might need some pipe cleaners. We got one, two, three, four, five, six slots. So I might need some pipe cleaners. Um, if not, we'll just cut some of these and use them because I really don't want to spend more on this project. And these, yeah, like I said, these were uh, about five inches. Last year I got the idea because Michelle Pipeline did a really cute one and I loved her and she sent me the goodies um, to make my own little reef. So I got the inspiration from Miss Michelle Pipeline. You all know she's talented. Okay. Let's get some coffee break while she gives me the She's feeding me, fueling me with coffee, guys, because it's like 3.37 in the morning. And um, I was doing some schoolwork, and she came up to see what I was doing. And I said, you know what? We'll get this schoolwork done. We'll procrastinate more. Let's do that reef. All right. So she said, okie dokie. All right, so what do we have, Nani? What do we have here? Okay, so we have one up here. So we're going to do that one there. And 
And so we got 10 total in a little slot capacity. Okay, so we'll twist it and that one goes on top. So, so in a little block, we got 10 little twisted mesh things together. So this is what I mean by a block. Between this bar and this bar, fit 10. So you're going to cut enough to fit 10. So you need like um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 total of these little boogers. And I probably cut these in half because, you know, you can see they have all these little spider legs. They look like little spider legs. Jeez, look at that. Spider legs. I guess they tell you, you know, to leave them on long because, you know, they figure you're going to go buy more of these pipe cleaners. But they really do look like spider legs. All right, so she's giving them to me. Let's start with my orange as the base. Twist, purple, roll. And I do like a little X. Twist. Again, black, roll it, roll it, roll it, pulley. And just put it in the center. One, two, three. And they're all going like X's. And just give it a twist. And let's put it right on that T. And let's do the one on the second roll. So orange, roll it, twist it. And I like the, the distress, shabby, up, shabby distress look of that. Roll, it's already roll. How cool is that? X marks the spot. And roll the black. And there we go. Twist it. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to go back on the top, which is the second row. And twist it once or twice. I would do it like three times just to. Three. Okay. And so this one lays on top or in the center of this one. Like that. Crisscross like that. Okay, so we're going to keep doing that all the way around. We'll be back when it's complete and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, I cut these in half just so you know, um, so that I can save on pipe cleaners. And I also, what I'm doing a little bit different just to make it a little quicker and faster is to grab them. And again, you don't have to be super, super perfect because I think that it looks cute when it's so, you know, funky, All right? Twist it and then grab the pipe feet, pipe fitter. I don't know why, why, why do I want to say pipe fitter? I have no idea. And then just put the pipe cleaner um, and then attach it to um, your little reform. Like that and I think that that way it's a little faster and a little bit better I think so that's just that's just it so I'll continue so here's the end result and we use all of the uh, six rolls of the deco mesh and we also use the entire pack of the pipe cleaners now what I ended up doing with the pipe cleaner so that it would completely um, complete this project was cut it in half. That way you'll have enough to go through the entire uh, reef. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this trim here, this ribbon, 
and probably here and there, in certain spots, there's three yards of it, so I want to make sure that we have enough to, you know, go in here, and I'm just going to probably cut maybe like, I don't know, Maybe four inches. Let me see what four inches will do. Yeah, about four inches. And hopefully we'll have enough. And if we don't, then um, we'll get another row. So, so far we have six. We have six rows of mesh. That's six bucks. One bag of pipe cleaners. That's seven. The reef is eight. And this trim is nine, and I have another ribbon that I was thinking of putting it on. That'll be ten, so it'll be a ten dollar. I'm trying to keep it at ten dollars um, from Dollar Tree stuff. I'm going to add, of course, I'm going to add some embellishments that I already had here. Um, so I strongly suggest you get embellishments you have. Oh wait, no. Take it back. Take it back. Let's rewind again. So we got six on the mesh, one on the pipe uh, cleaner. Oh, I don't know why I want to say pipe fitter. Um, the reef, that's eight. The ribbon, that's nine. And then I do have another ribbon, that's ten. And the funky legs that are needing to be fattened up, that's eleven. And then any other little embellishments that I have from my personal stash. Um, and I did get some little pumpkins. So that's probably about 13 from Dollar Tree. But still not bad considering that um, uh, wreaths are normally very expensive to, to do elsewhere. So that's still not a bad deal. I don't think in my book. I don't think it's a bad deal at all. And I think it's quite affordable in my in my book. So I like it. I like the fact that it didn't cost me that much money. I, I'm under 20 bucks for sure. Um, and the embellishments that I'm going to use are the ones that I got from um, Amazon that were like a dollar or something. So not bad. I'm keeping it under 20 bucks. And of course, I suggest that you guys do the same and use what you have in your home. So I'm just going to take these. And again, it has a wire. Um, let's see. I twist it. It should stay, right? Because it's a wire. Yep, it works. Okay. So I'm just going to go in um, to certain spots here. See, that was a waste of uh, pipe cleaner. I think in my book, because look, that's like a big old piece of pipe cleaner. Oh, that looks kind of lost there. Well, it doesn't. It looks, it looks all right. It looks good. So we're just going to twist and add these here and there um, in certain spots, um, wherever we find a suitable little spot for it and we're going to go all the way around here and there and everywhere and we'll be back all right so i decided not to put the other ribbon in and here's my little skinny uh her skinny legs my gosh these things are just so horrible so scary um so what i'm going to do is I'm gonna because they're sewn into this little ring, so I'm just gonna cut that because she needs to be stuffed somewhere, somewhere in here. I'm gonna um, stuff these up with some polyfill. I'm probably going to do something about her shoes as well. Um, but I just kind of like this here, so I'm not sure what we're going to do if we do keep the shoes, so I'm not having to put more out. So, But I am going to put some polyfill here. So once I get the polyfill and her legs a little bit more stuff, then I will sew it down here and here and attach these legs 
to her there. And then I have this stuff that I got. They were like a dollar, I think a dollar something from Amazon, Amazon, excuse me. So I'm probably going to add some of these. They're chipboard die cuts. So we got a cast of a spell. Hmm. And then you have fire burn cauldron bubble. So I could probably put some of this stuff around here somewhere. Maybe the cats. Hmm. I'll see. I'll see what I do with these. Um, since I already have them here. Or, or I have the house. And I think the house is cute. I like the house. So we got the house. I could put a house tucked in there somewhere and maybe the moon in the back like that tucked in there and then I got these little pumpkins. So I'm going to go fill these up and then we'll be back. Okay, so her legs are stuffed and I've sewn it and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of fabric to um, back this up and stuff it up a little bit. I have these, this is part of a legging that I cut off that um, I was gonna turn into shorts because because I wanted to. <laughs> it was hot and I wanted some shorts underneath a little dress that I was wearing. And so I am going to recycle these because they were sitting here and that's a good way of recycling this piece of fabric. So I've cut it, and let me, uh, let me do it the same size. I think I should have, um, let me move this over. I should have enough for all of it. This stuff makes a huge mess, though, guys. Gosh, it makes a huge, huge, huge mess. All right, so I'm just going to trace probably this shoe or maybe glue. And I know this is the outside and this is the inside, because see, so we're going to cover that up. So I'm probably, see, I could probably, I wonder if I can get two shoes in one piece. Again, this was just from, I had some leggings and I needed a pair of shorts and for underneath the dress. I don't like wearing my dresses without shorts underneath, I don't know why. Anyway, so I think I can't get two, but I can get one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it the best I can. I could use it, you know, like a, a white um, marking pen or something. I don't have one, so we're just going to wing it and make do with what we have, right? Um, that's the best thing that I can do. You know what? Let's do it this way. We'll glue and then cut. How's that? You know what? I actually wanted to sew it, though. No, we're going to cut. Okay, so here's what I did. I ended up going um, to the sewing machine without cutting it. So that way it's a lot easier for me to come in here now with the smaller scissors um, and just trimming off all that extra stuff. And just made it a lot easier. You can also glue it just the same way and then just trim off all these little extras as you go along the way. Um, it's a stretchy fabric so all right so I'm just going to trim I left a little opening so that I can stuff Don't 
the felt. But you guys get the idea. I'm just trimming around the best I can. Doesn't have to be super duper uber. Um, perfecto. <clears throat> but you guys get the idea. And then I'm going to go in. I'm going to stuff it. I left this down here. I'm going to stuff it. And then we'll be back. I'll do the same thing to the other. So I want to share with you guys um, how I'm stuffing this. Um, of course, this is not really polyfill. It was more something for like a quilting batting. Oh, I think it was. I thought it was polyfill. It's a batting, yeah. So I don't know where we got this from. Um, but it's been sitting in our closet for a while. So Because I don't quilt, so... Might have been something we bought by mistake, thinking it was polyfill when I was crafting heavy. So I'm just putting it in. I'm using a pen to push it in. I use a try um, forcep to get all the way to the tip. If you don't have a forcep, just get like a skew or something and poke it in. The other thing that you can do instead of sealing it down here, you can leave this part here open make it easier for you guys if you don't want to go through the tip but I find it for me because I don't want a big opening um, to do it this way and the reason I have those big old forceps is because I used to do uh, primitive dolls and I had those laying around still Okay. So even though it's quilting batting, it's still doable, it's still workable for me, and it is what I have, and that's what I'm using. So, hey, it works, right? It's all that matters. It's all that matters. So once I get this completely uh, filled, I'm going to go in and stitch that bottom, and then I'll do the same thing to the other shoe. But I just wanted to share with you guys just this little quick process here of how to stuff it um something fell off my desk oh i think it was my buddy my head buddy um gotta pick him up pick her up him her whatever it is i don't know she fell pick her up here in a second but that's it that's all you do and then we're just gonna finish uh filling her up and stitching her up and uh, see, I think it looks better than that flat shoe. It just was not not going well for me. Not at all. I also thought about using one of my, I had designed a little witch's boot. And I still have some of the, um, the chipboard. Just, I thought about putting that on her feet. But, but you know. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm just going to stitch and cut up all the little extra pieces of fabric. Okay, so we have them sewn in. Now I'm just going to trim all this little extra fabric that's around it. I thought I found it a little bit easier, I think, um, just to be able to do it that way. Um, I did doll dress dolls. That's how I did it, the bodies. It's just a lot easier, I think. But you can certainly not skip this part if you want. Um, you don't have to do this. I just thought I'd give her some dimension because she was a little on the um, skinny side of life. And we wanted to fatten her up a little. But you can do whatever you want. So I'm just trimming um, around, being careful not to break my stitches or to cut into the felt so that's all we're going to do and that's just as easy as that see this is easy as that and i got these little scissors actually at hobby lobby they had them at um 
clearance room, 49 cents in the fabric section. So not bad at all. All right, so I'm just going to trim. We'll be back. Okay, so I have these Martha Stewart um, little houses that I got. I've used some Tim Holtz Distress Inks to distress around the edges and make it more um, vintagey. And I did the same thing with the moon and the little bird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this to 3D the moon. Just a tad bit. You know that the moon's going to go right about there. So that way the, the moon's a little bit 3D. And then put that there. And then we're going to do the same thing for the little guy here. And I got another piece of chipboard. Just like so. And he's going to be flying in that midnight Halloween mess. Right? And then I'm going to stick this down um, and I will be clipping some of these little uh, although you know what I thought about these little pipe cleaners they look like spider's legs and so I thought you know what those are pretty cool so I might not cut those off because I thought they look like spider's eggs uh, legs not eggs legs alright so I'm probably I'm not gonna put a whole lot of decor on this because we have a little birdie um, in our, in our, um, what do you call it? In our yard, that every time I put a wreath out there, they seem to like, um, they seem to like our wreaths and they make little nests there. So I'm not going to do anything fancy because we've had the wreaths get kind of messed up with that. So again, I'm just going to distress these because they're too new for me and my liking. So I'm just going to go around and make her a little bit more like she's not so new. Um, but if you don't have the same issue as I do, where we have a little bird that decides it wants to pick whatever we put on that door, and make a little nest. Uh, you go, go for it. Decorate it however you want. I just don't want to put a whole bunch out there because um, we have a little birdie that likes to do that kind of stuff. For the longest time, we would hear it um, when I had uh, the Christmas wreath. We would hear, and it sounded like it was right inside the house. I was like really scared, and then. Then when we put last year the Halloween wreath, we saw what he was capable of doing. All right, so I have this, and then I have that. So I'm thinking that's going to go like this, um, like so. So I, I, I like that. And I might do a little bit of a 3D there. Let's do a little bit of a 3D. Yeah, it was really funny trying to figure out where is that sound coming from and sure enough it was coming from the reef the bird had made its home in the reef reef so we're going to do it like that I'm going to cut another little piece here. No, I'm off camera, am I? Am I off camera? I apologize for that, guys. Okay, no, I think I think that's good. So we have that. Hopefully, you know, if it damages that, it's all right. It's not like I spent a whole lot on that. So we're probably going to put that like that. And then I have these little skulls. Don't want to use my fabric scissors. 
so we're probably going to put some skulls in here. I wonder if I just distressed it a little. Could have gone in there and done the eyes. Let's do the eyes with a little Sharpie. Make them a little bit more profound there. So I'm going to do that to all of them, but I think I'm also going to do a little bit of a stickle as well. And although the stickle, I should have done it um, once I glued it down. So I'm going to do that to all these little heads, and I'm not sure how many heads I'm going to put on here. But I'm just going to tuck them just like that, glue them in, just like that, right in there. Um, just like that. So I will do that to the rest of the heads that I put in here. Not a whole lot. And I also have one little victim that we're going to put in here for the witch. And we're going to do the same thing. So I'll be back. Okay, so I got this little guy here. And I thought, what would it be like if I punctured a hole on the hat there and hung this little guy from it? So let's do that. I think that would be cool. So let's grab this little guy. Again, Dollar Tree special. Everything's Dollar Tree with the exception of, let's see, I need to do this differently. So it looks like he's hanging from the witch's hat. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, so we have that little guy hanging. We have the little um, skeleton heads that I've done some um, stickles on the eyes and the lips or the teeth. And I'm probably going to do some more little stickles on this guy here because he looks like he's, you know, suffering just put a little bit of that there on his eyes and a little bit of this to bring out his teeth and this is the gold one so I put black on his eyes and a little bit of gold on his teeth And this little, this, the gold's always getting stuck on me. So hopefully I can do that on, I'm always having problems with this gold. I'm going to come all out a big old glob. It's like a piece of glitter it's stuck in there would that be able to use okay let's not use the gold because I can't get the gold to work let's do the clear can never get the gold to do the right thing it's clogged up and then the white wants to come out really I think it's because they put um, a 
the hole for the gold. The tip is too fine. And see, the tip for this one's too wide. Ah, we just can't win. We just can't win. Just a little bit. Because I really wanted the gold, but it's not wanting to work. And so... Oh, well. I'm going to use this black one to go into these windows. Just to just to give it a little something something. A little bit of a pop. Not much of a pop, but it's something, right? Okay, so that's good enough. Don't want to make it too pretty for the birdie. Alright, so we're gonna go in here and let's put a lot I, I'm off camera, I know I am. But I gotta put some glue and my glue gun doesn't go all the way. It doesn't go all the way to that corner, so I do apologize for that. Let's put it right smack in there. I might have to glue it up a little bit more, get closer. And then we still have to glue the legs. So, let's do that. I'm just going right into the mesh. It'll be easier on the mesh. this little witch she's flying in somewhere to get her victim so we're gonna glue her on the other side right over here Oh yeah, that could be good. Okay, so that is it right there. Um, we have the little house. So overall, what we have, oh, we had some little pumpkins, but I guess we didn't use that. I guess I could use some. Let's see, we could put a pumpkin right there. Let's do that. And notice I did not cut off the little um, pipe cleaners because I thought it looked like spider legs, you know. And I thought that's pretty cool. I like the spider legs. So we can put some little pumpkins here and there too. Let's put a couple.
forgot I had the pumpkin. We gotta use the pumpkins. That's what I bought it for. See, this pumpkin has the glitter. I saw the one pumpkin that um, had the glitter and the beads. And I was like, that is pretty cool. However, cost effective. Ah, oh, man, to redo your own would have cost a lot. So I was like, nah, we'll do that another time. Let's see. Okay. So here we have it. So what do we have spent in here? What What's our total? Let's see. Let's add that up. We have six rolls of deco mesh. That's six dollars. The wire foam or the wire form. That's seven. The ribbon. That's eight. Um, we still have four of these. There was a pack. Of, we used four. So there was a pack of um, eight. Um, the legs. That's nine. The little heads, that's 10. We still have two more of him, but we'll count it. That's 11. And I think that's it. Let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Actually, 12. We have $12. About $12 plus these little chipboard thingies that I got from. And I got tons more left. So I would say about $12 because we didn't use all the, the head. We didn't use all the pumpkins. I still got plenty of pumpkins. Oh, and the pipe cleaners. So I would say about 12 with the pipe cleaners and the little tidbits that I still have extras of. 12 to $13 is the total. So not bad whatsoever. I hope this inspired you. And thank you so much, Sherry Howard, for suggesting that I do this. Until next time. Catch you guys later. And check out Michelle Pipeline because my inspiration came from her. So check out what she did last year. Till next time. Bye-bye.